Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Review for September 13, 2019. An article from Business Insider reports, the Trump campaign is launching its own social networking app to mobilize the army of Trump for 2020. President Donald Trump has used Twitter as a digital megaphone throughout his presidency to directly address his supporters, and he will soon have another tool at his disposal to get his message out unfiltered. The Trump re-election campaign is launching a social networking app to harness the fervent energy among his legion of supporters. The smartphone app, which has no release date yet, will encourage them to donate, volunteer their time, and stay on top of the president's campaign schedule. The app will create a prize system to persuade Trump's diehard supporters to recruit their friends with rewards such as VIP seats at a rally or a photo with the president, similar to how other campaigns do for top donors. The campaign increasingly views smartphones as another method of turning passive supporters into staunch activists. At a Trump rally late last year, campaign manager Brad Parscale brandished his iPhone, telling supporters, now this phone is how we connect with you. It's how we turn you into the army of Trump. A scathing article from The Hill states, Obama administration officials slam Warren as a condescending narcissist. Former members of the Obama administration leveled criticism at Senator Elizabeth Warren during an interview with Political Magazine, reflecting lingering acrimony over her work to found the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or CFPB. In interviews with Political Magazine, Former administration officials called the now presidential contender a, quote, condescending narcissist, sanctimonious, and a professional critic. One former Obama administration official said of Warren, quote, she loved herself and some of her staff had a God view of her, and that's not aligned with government and bureaucrats which require teamwork. The divide between former President Obama's team and Warren stemmed from Warren's demands that she be put in charge of the CFPB, a position she did not get, according to the publication. Warren's former team members, for their part, also had acidic criticism for both the former president and members of his team. Obama called the bankers fat cats once and spent seven years feeling bad about it, one former Warren aide told Politico. And finally, the Epic Times reports, son of 9-11 victim responds to Ilan Omar's some people did something remark during memorial service. The son of a September 11, 2001 terror attack victim has delivered a pointed criticism at Representative Ilan Omar responding to the freshman congresswoman's some people did something remarks she used to describe the deadliest terror attacks in American history that claimed the lives of nearly 3,000 innocent people. While wearing a black shirt with the words some people did something, Nicholas Harris Jr. took to the podium to read out the names of the victims during the 18th anniversary memorial service of the attacks at Ground Zero in New York City. Harrells Jr. lost his 76-year-old mother, Frances, on that day when terrorist-piloted planes crashed into the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and in a field in Pennsylvania. Harrells Jr. started his speech remembering his mother, friends, and co-workers who had died. He then went on to respond to Omar's remarks, which were widely viewed as an attempt to trivialize the deadly attacks. Harrells Jr. said, without naming Omar, Some people did something said a freshman congresswoman in Minnesota, supporting the creation of CARE. Today I'm here to respond to you exactly who did what to whom. Madam, objectively speaking, we know who and what was done. There is no uncertainty about that. Why your confusion? On that day, 19 Islamic terrorist members of Al-Qaeda killed over 3,000 people and caused billions of dollars of economic damage. Is that clear? But as to whom, I was attacked. Your relatives and friends were attacked. Our constitutional freedoms were attacked. And our nation's founding on Judeo-Christian principles did. That's what some people did. Get that now, he added. He then called for Omar to show respect and honor the victims of the attacks. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Review for September 13th, 2019. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.